Hello, and welcome to Unlimited Adventures. My name is Ben. Today, I want to talk about Season 4 of Deep Rock Galactic, as well as what I would like to see for Seasons 5 and 6. Okay, let's get into this. First, Season 4, Critical Corruption, the further spread of the rock pox on Hulk Seas. This is a really Season 3.5. The good folks at Ghost Ship Game did the same thing with the last season, with Rival Incursion and Rival Escalation. They broke the season into two parts, something that is a really good idea. It helps with content creation, gives them time to work on future things. But I won't lie, this season is not great. The rock pox, while cool, are just very lackluster. The rock pox swarms are nifty, but again, this is not a banger of a season like the others. Even season three is still better than season four. The reason behind this, I believe, is that in previous seasons they released new primary weapons, secondary weapons, and grenade, complete with overclocks for the new primary and secondary weapons. Each class got something new each season. With nothing new class-wise released, this leaves this season content rather lean. The new enemy, the Lithophage Corruptor, is not a very fun thing to fight. This is very disappointing from Ghost Ship Games. They've always given us great enemies that are actually fun to fight, but this one's a little rough. The Nemesis robot was a great fight, fun, knew it was coming. It was a pain, but great. The Corruptor isn't fun. I have gotten into groups where they just ignore it. They think it's too much risk to take it on, to risk the whole mission for only three Plague Hearts. One person said they would abort the mission if they ran into one. That's never a good thing to hear from your player base, even if it's just one player. But let me say this, it's okay. Ghost Ship Games are amazing devs that actually really care about the games and their player base. I have been playing video games for a long time, and Ghost Ship Games is by far one of the best devs to their players. They actually listen to feedback. For example, when players voice their opinions about the Decontaminator pack this season, they reworked the whole thing, and man, that DLC pack actually looks really good. The weapon frames look great, so I would cut them some slack. They're a great group of devs. So where do we go from here? What do we do next season? Season 4 will likely be a good long time. Plaguefall lasted 141 days before we got Critical Corruption. That is 4 months and 19 days worth of content. This gives plenty of time for the new season to get ready. So season 5 and 6? I got a few ideas. First, call it spawning season, or something akin. It's basically glyphid mating season on Hoxies. Like previous seasons, you would have zones with the red that indicates that this is a brooding zone. The brooding zone would increase spawn rate of glyphids, as well as the increase the ability of dreadnoughts to spawn. The level event would be like hack meteors, except it would be queen eggs, encased in a thick cocoon where you would need the rock crackers like you have for the lithophage meteors to break it open and drop it into the Mueller rig. Each one has a few eggs, much like the meteors. The performance pass would pretty much stay the same. The base cosmetics, beards, helmets, skins, and other things, but the cosmetic tree needs a rework. Remove weapon frames and replace them with new overclocks. This is a good feeling overall. The reason behind this is it gives veteran miners something new, gives green beards something to push for, and there's also no big deal. Everyone will get these eventually because they all season loot gets folded into the loot pool of the overall game. So there's really no reason not to. It's a win-win all around. This would serve as the first part of the next season, and in true fashion, it would escalate to something far more dangerous. Season 6 would be named Queen Rising. This would finally bring the Caustic Mire, renaming it the Spawning Pools. This would be a heavily acidic and poison zone, the byproduct of glyphid births. For those who don't know, the Caustic Mire was a zone that was set to be released in 2021, but was put in the back burner in favor of the Hollow Burrow. A new mission type would be introduced as well, the Queen Extermination. These would be very much like Dreadnought Eliminations, but after you kill the Dreadnoughts, the Queen spawns and you have 30 to 45 seconds to reload, prepare, and make sure that you are ready for her. Then you take her down. Doing something similar to the Dreadnoughts, but having armor levels like the Lithophage. This would be an absolutely fantastic fight and require a great deal amount of teamwork. You would also carry over the cosmetic tree in the perform from the performance pass. Change its name to something else, though. Drop new overclocks and increase how much minerals you get from the nodes. Just makes sense. I mean, you're playing company script for it. Why not 
have them be a little bit more than what you would normally get. There's also a few things I would like to see added over the course of the next two seasons. A cigar cosmetic for all dwarfs. I mean, come on, the gunner has one hanging out of his mouth in many pictures. I would also like to be able to name my loadouts and not just use symbols. But the big thing I would like to see is female dwarfs put in the game. If not in season five or six, but at some point. Well, those are my ideas for season five and six. What do you think? Good ideas? Bad ideas? Bend your off your rocker ideas? Give a comment below. I'd really like to hear what you think. If you enjoyed the video, give a like and subscribe. Either way, I really appreciate you watching. Catch you in the next one.